Well, howdy, howdy, everybody. It's the old buddy Rip One Outdoors. Hey, it's a Sunday. It's a Sunday afternoon. Let me get my mirror set. And it's New Year's Eve. Still got a squealing break back there. I just I ain't never had I ain't had time to fix nothing yet. Well, it ain't got to be fixed. It's just got to be bedded in, maybe cleaned. Y'all know where we're at. Before we get took off too far, hey, let's roll that intro and then we'll get on with the ride. Pacing in front of the city hall here in Picayune. We got the colors on the flag yonder. The wind's really doing tricks with them. We're gonna give them a salute while we pass. That's the, uh, maybe sometime I'll stop and show y'all the brick by brick veterans memorial there. It's a really nice tribute to the veterans that served, some died. Um, We're not gonna go to the railroad uh, at railroad market there today. If we get time, we might stop right by there, but I got a little mission. I gotta run some money over here to the bank. And uh, it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon, y'all, and it's 60, I believe it on the truck, it was 66 degrees. Yeah. Need to be on that big old Harley going there, huh? So we hope everybody had a good Christmas and all we had. And uh, I know we did. What are we riding today? What's our equipment? The equipment is the Mahogo RX 2.4. And some of you might say, well, you riding that thing again? Oh yeah. I tell you what, it's quickly becoming my main squeeze. You know what I'm saying? And you, some of you might say, well, what happened to the Jaguarundi? Hey, the Jaguarundi's still there. I just kind of shifted it to the side a little bit cause I ain't got room in my shed to store, but just so many bikes. And I had to move some of them out. But hopefully that'll all be over with here in a day or so. We'll get our new shed in there and we'll, we'll stack them up in there. Yeah, we'll have plenty of room in the shed. I think we may even have room in there to put my lawnmower. Yeah, I started to bring the Jaguarundi, but as I say, I got a, I got a special mission for bringing this one because I wanted to, wanted to tell y'all about a, a sale going on, okay? Whenever I did the review on this bike, this bike was, uh, they always want the bike to go. Thank you, sir. Or ma'am, whatever it was. But they always, yeah, the, uh, my, ever since I did the review, when I did the review, the bike, this bike, the RX 2.4 was, a thousand and ninety nine, if I'm not mistaken. I'd have to go back and well, I don't think I told y'all what the price was. Because even with all these other companies, same way, Magicycle, Moon Cool, uh, Mahogo, the ones that I, I represent, they're gonna always change in prices out. So as soon as you put a price on the but you know, it doesn't matter either way. As long as you tell people, look, prices are subject to change. But right now, the price on this bike is $8.99. Now, here's the deal. Don't pay too much. Y'all know what I told y'all about paying too much. I got you a $60 coupon 
discount code that you can use. Use that link in my description. And y'all might say, well, you starting that awfully early today. Yeah, well, I just want to get it out and get it in. I don't want to forget it. But go, go, to, go to the site using my link in my description. Enter that RIP60, and that'll give you $60, okay? Put $60 in your, in your pocket or put it towards uh, your helmet or some accessories or put you a bag on the back back there. Something or another like that. Yeah, it's uh, the temperature is really nice. I just got on a, a old flannel shirt. Y'all know me, I like my old flannel shirts. Some guy up there painting. Painting the bank. I guess we won't bother him. This is a very, very comfortable bike to ride, y'all. It really is. Stop and get off here a second. All right, let's go, let's take a ride and I'll stop down there somewhere else. And I wanna say hello to, and a special mention to the new viewers out there. And I know there's new viewers because I see some of y'all commenting on my videos. There's Grayson's Dodge Charger. That Grayson, he loves that Charger. I'd like to ride in one on one time. Would you like to drive it? But yeah, hello to the new viewers that's been watching, and we really appreciate y'all. You've been commenting, uh, sending my views up really good. Well, I hope you find something interesting. You know, I mean, I, I want to try to do y'all a good job. So there you go. Welcome, welcome new viewers, new subscribers. Yeah, we fixing to roll over 1,100, y'all. Who would have thunk it, huh? Who would have thunk I'll rip one outdoors? I don't know why anybody would want to watch me, but hey, we appreciate y'all. That man there found somebody to throw some stuff out there on the curb and he's uh he's checking it out. Donald with me and Donald was talking yesterday. Donald said they have what they call curb alerts where he's at, up there in Madison. And I said, what in the world is a curb alert? They fixing to build some more habitat for humanity houses right here. He said the people in the in the neighborhood there, if they got something to throw out, they're gonna throw it out on the curb. And uh, they will send out a little flyer on uh, Facebook or whatever that uh, called a curb alert. And they'll let you know, hey, we're setting out a, a chest of drawers or something like that. And Donald, he's got enough Mitchell in him so he ain't gonna pass up something free. He gonna go check it out. This little bike has got plenty of pep, y'all, for crossing intersections like this. I'm really, I'm really happy. I'm really surprised, you know. But it, it'll get you across them intersections. See there? Y'all been down here before. We we going down by the. Uh, we're going down by the Friendship Park, the playground there. Then we'll cross back over. We're actually going to go. We're actually going to go uh, pretty much all the way around South Picayune. 
Y'all want to ride down here and check out this new church? I estimated this church here a while back. And, uh, well, I say here a while back. It's been more than a while back. It's been, it's been probably a year ago. I estimated this church, and I guess they just kind of slow about getting started on it. Y'all, this is, this is what they call the old city dump right in here. Way back yonder. Way back yonder, probably before I come along. This is the old city dump for people to come down here and dump trash. And whenever I was a boy or a teenager or whatever, you know what uh, Uncle Robert would tell us? He said, boys, we're going to go bottle hunting. I call it bottle hunting, but actually was hunting for anything. Oh yeah, they coming up with that church. Let's ride down in here and take a look, y'all. But yeah, as you see right out in here, I tell you what, there is a wealth of old bottles and stuff like that down there, y'all. I ain't lying to you. Them old blue bottles that's turned to blue from time, you know. No telling how many now has unearthed themselves from rain and erosion and stuff like that. But that used to be a, a good Sunday afternoon entertainment for us. Yeah, that was a good Sunday afternoon entertainment for us. We'd go down in there and, uh, and look for bottles, look for money. You know people throw money out with trash, don't they? You know? You're liable to find some uh, value, valued, uh, valuable penny or, or a nickel or a quarter or something like that. So some of us would take money hunters. You know, it's kind of like the old story I told here a week or so ago about the treasure hunt, you know. It's about the same thing. Now they got it blocked off, so we're going to respect that. But I'm just going to tell y'all, take a look. That's gonna be quite a oh, that's gonna be quite a church, ain't it? I guarantee you. So they coming on up. I believe I. I believe I counted that it, it'll seat a thousand people. In the theater seating and all that, thousand. There's a thousand seats. But yeah, we used to go out in there hunting bottles. And so what, what, what did he do with them? Well, back then, there was people collected them things and they, they, you could actually sell them. Now that was before eBay and all come along. You know what I'm saying? Let me get my cheat sheet here so I don't call off the notes for the Magicycle Deer or something like that. The Mahogo, told y'all about the sale they got going on right now. It's $839, and that's using my RIP60, okay? So, but use that link so my channel will get credit for it. The top speed is 23 miles an hour. Uh, maybe, uh, I, don't think, I don't think it'll go any faster than that, y'all. Uh, 48 volt, 12.8 amp hour battery. Uh, I made a note here that you can add additional battery for $399. That's on. That's off of their website accessory. Uh, the the range is stated at 40 miles. I'm gonna say probably closer to 30. But you know me, I'm six foot, 230, and all that all that depends on you know your weight and uh, wind and air pressure. You know, y'all know the routine. It's the frame is made of a, a of a magnesium alloy. It's actually lighter weight. It looks bigger, it looks bulky, but it's not. I mean, it, it doesn't add weight. The weight is 59.2 pounds. It's got hydraulic disc brakes. These are Logans, and they, they work really, really good, y'all. Uh, that little squealing you hear back here, that's my fault, okay? Because I hadn't uh, bedded the brakes in. Some of the features that I wrote down is smooth, it's quiet, it's light, it's compact, and it looks sharp okay I look at it I think it looks sharp anyway so we're we'll get off of the 
RX 2.4, but just let, letting y'all know what we was riding and that they got that sale going on. I don't know if it's a sale or I don't know if they just, hey, we just gonna mark the price down. It may stay like that. But I tell you, it's a good bike. And I ain't bird turdin' y'all. Yeah, Joey came down. He took a ride on it. Joyce Richard, that is a good bike. He, he loved it. So uh, he likes it because of the portability issue. Joey's got a little hatchback car, some kind of a little tur Toyota. We used to call him Tokyota. And he wants to be able to put two of them in that little hatchback car. So it's something he may be looking at. I want you to look at the flowers, y'all. Check it out. Ain't that pretty? That's camellias. That's the ones that we saw blooming over in silk stocking. Remember? Ain't that pretty? That I did put a uh, suspension seat post on this bike. I bought, a, I bought a seat post for it, especially for this bike. I figure if the company gives me the bike, the least I could do is put me a suspension seat post on there. I want to tell y'all a story. I'll, I'll show y'all maybe after a while. If not, I'll show you maybe on the next video. Over towards the area of this part of the country where my Aunt Ruby lived. Now my Aunt Ruby was my daddy's sister. Y'all know his big family there. My Aunt Ruby, we, she, she pretty much knocked around with my mama. Wherever mama went, my Aunt Ruby loved to go. If daddy and mama and them went to eat fish somewhere, down here we, I know I've told y'all this before, but down here we have fish houses, okay? And it's, and you say, well, what is a fish house? It's a place where you go sit down and eat fried catfish and shrimp and whatever, whatever else they sell it. Onion rings, soft shell crab. But yeah, Aunt Ruby, she loved to go with mom and daddy to eat somewhere, wherever they, wherever they went to. A sweet little lady, a little small lady. And I'm gonna tell you, Aunt Ruby eat like a bird. A bird without eat Aunt Ruby. Now that's no lie there. The, when she would go to these restaurants like these fish houses and what have you, she would tell them now, now this is the way Aunt Ruby talked. She said, now, now honey, I just want a child's plate. I just want a child's plate. Just a little, just a little bit of fried chicken or fried fish or something, whatever, whatever they had. And it was kind of become a little running joke with us, you know. So we, when somebody just got a little plate and they just got a little on it, we said, look, guys, that looks like Aunt Ruby's plate because she always got a child's plate wherever she went. She'd go to these buffets and uh, she go, she'd go to these fish houses. They didn't mind doing it, you know, because she'd pay the money. Most of the time, some of us wound up buying her lunch or, or supper or whatever. I mean, she'd say, ooh, that fish was so good. But yeah, she was a sweet lady. One time, some of us wanted to get together and go to the House of Seafood over in Bush, Louisiana. Now, the House of Seafood has a, has a nickname. It's called the House of Pain. When you go in there now, I'm gonna tell y'all something. You're gonna pay, you're gonna pay for it. I'll guarantee you, you're gonna pay for the meal, but you're gonna, you're gonna be able to eat whatever you want. They have, I mean, I could name it all off. Fried, every way that you could imagine cooking a fish, you, you, you could get it. Every imaginable way you could get a shrimp, it sound like old Bubba Gump. You could get that shrimp. Frog legs, oysters. I think they had everything but mountain oysters. Man, you name it, they had it. But when you went in this place, this place charged you, I mean, look, back then, I mean, 
it's probably double now what it was back then, but back then you had to pay like $15. I think now it's like close to 30, I think it's close to $30 to go in that place and sit down because they know, they know what you're gonna eat. You're gonna eat all this rich stuff, you know, it costs a lot of, a lot of money to get. Little air, uh, helicopter flying in. What up there, Papa? But Aunt Ruby went in there, we went in there and sat down and the lady come back in there and take our order and give our tea. And uh, she said, do y'all know what you want? And started, well, well, let me just start with this little lady. What you want, little lady? She said, honey, I just want a child's plate. And they told her, they said, ma'am, we can't sell you a child's plate. Said so this, these, <laughs> these is all rich buffets and all. And you know, I don't remember what the words was she told her, but we can't sell you a child's plate. If you sit down at that place, you're gonna pay $29, $30. Well, you know, we had Aunt Ruby covered. What what one? It wasn't the money, but Aunt Ruby, she always just wanted to get a little bit. So she finagled around there with the lady, and finally told the lady. Lady said, "What is it you want?" And the Aunt Ruby said, "I just wanted a piece of fried chicken." And she said, "Well, honey, all I can do is bring you a chicken plate, fried chicken plate out here, or platter, or something or another." And they brought, <laughs> ask Aunt Ruby, Aunt Ruby, what'd you get? I got some fried chicken coming. When they, they put that, they put that fried chicken plate down there, it, it took two plates to tote it out there. It was like a whole chicken. It took them two plates to bring it out there to her. They set that thing down in front of Aunt Ruby and Aunt Ruby said, my God! <laughs> what in the world? I didn't order all of this. And the lady said, ma'am, if you're not eating on the buffet, if you're eating what they call a la carte, I said, that's, that's the best we can bring you. So we can't bring you a little plate out here. I said, you either be eating off the buffet or either you eating a platter or something like that. Well, needless to say, Aunt Ruby, she took a whole lot of chicken home with her that night. But I'd give anything if y'all could have seen her face when they set that, when they set that thing down in front of her. That was funny. That's one thing we'll always remember in the family when we get together. We'll say, Mary or some of them will ask, y'all remember the night they brought that chicken out there and set it down in front of uh, Aunt Ruby? the look on her face. And I do, I want, that's one, that's, that's committed to memory right there, I'll never forget that. Passing by the little playground here at Friendship Park. They got a splash pad out there. I kinda doubt anybody's using the splash pad though. Somebody brought their kids a bike out. Brought them bikes out for kids to ride. So I tell y'all what we're gonna do now. We're getting down a little closer to the end of this ride now. We're gonna start hanging up with you guys. Hey now. Good. So yeah, think about that Mahogo RX 2.4, y'all. I know I done tried to sell y'all on it one time, but we'll try it again, okay? Yeah, use that link, it's in our description. Our video description got a link, use it. And use a discount code RIP60, that'll get you $60. And it does work, because I've checked it. And uh, this little bike, if you, hey, as we said before, if you've got RVs, an RV, and you want a light, bi lightweight bike to haul around in the RVs and scoot around on the, I can promise you this bike will fill your needs. 
and it will do perfect. What else? Yeah, it, if our, for our beers, for uh, as we mentioned before, if you just if you just want got a little neighborhood you want to ride around in, get out, get out and ride around and get you some exercise. It's lightweight, as we said, it's portable, it's stowable, and it's pretty. It's got them fancy mag wheels. First one I ever had had them fancy mag wheels, and I like them. So yeah, do that, and hey, our little our little uh, YouTube channel will get re uh, recognition for it, and they might send us something else this way. You never know. We're going to leave our email down there, y'all, in case any of y'all have got any questions about this bike or anything else. You may want to ask me what the weather's like down here. It doesn't matter. Email me. I'll get back with you. Usually I'll get back with you, you know, in a few hours, whatever. I'm going to leave on the end screen a link for a video I did where I come up here. I think I was riding a Bandit 4Runner. And I had a little green, green friend that rode along with me for the whole trip. We pretty much made the same trip that we made today. Pretty much the same route. But yeah, it was a little old grasshopper looking thing. Uh, Katie did, I think is the name of it. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that on the end screen there. Check that out and uh, y'all know the rest of the story. Y'all feel like you've got some kind of value out of this video? enjoyed it hey hit that subscribe and hit that like and hit that bell notification and until we see y'all out on the trail here somewhere again this is richard with old rip one outdoors we're gonna park right here by these camellias here for a minute y'all have a good day